Hello and welcome to the ISQ TSQ series source swap instructions for changing from EI to CI source configuration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to change the instrument configuration from EI source operation to CI source operation. After watching this video, you should be able to remove the EI source cartridge, change the source configuration from EI to CI operation, and reinstall the CI source cartridge. To begin, acquire the Source Cartridge Installation Tool. On the top of the tool, there's an illustration for operation. Since we are beginning without a source cartridge attached to the tool, the indicating screw in the middle should be aligned to the right or locked channel. On the manifold, turn the manifold cap to the left and remove the manifold cap. Insert the Source Installation Tool and turn clockwise to lock the tool in place but do not push the tool forward. Doing so will damage the instrument. Locate and press the evacuate button on the front of the mass spectrometer. The lights on the interface will turn red to indicate that the interlock is evacuating. Once the green light turns on indicating it is safe to open, you may now proceed. First, to change the lever positions, unscrew the arm and move down. Then re-tighten. The lever is now able to be lifted upwards, freeing the path for the source installation tool. When you lift the lever, you will notice the green light for ready to open is no longer on. This lever must remain completely up while you are inserting the tool. Otherwise, obstructing the path of the source installation tool may damage the interlock mechanism. Now you may insert the source installation tool. Turn counterclockwise and pull back, but do not remove. The source cartridge is now attached to the source installation tool. The channel guide is now in the unlocked position or left channel. You may now lower the lever closing the interlock door and unscrew the lever arm. The evacuate light is now green again. Remove the source installation tool with the source attached by turning counterclockwise. Replace the manifold cap by inserting and turning clockwise until the cap clicks. Return the lever arm to the upright position and secure. The EI source cartridge is now on the installation tool. Caution, the source will still be very hot. Carefully place the EI source cartridge onto the source holder. When the temperature has lowered enough to be handled safely, remove the ion volume locking ring, repeller assembly, and EI ion volume. The CI source module has its own ion volume, and we will be installing that next. From left to right, the ion volume locking ring, repeller assembly with the repeller spring fixed, and the EI ion volume. We will replace this EI ion volume with the CI ion volume. Reassemble the source cartridge with the CI ion volume. Next, put the CI source cartridge onto the source removal tool. Remove the manifold cap by turning the manifold cap counterclockwise. Insert the source installation tool and turn clockwise to lock the tool in place, but do not push the tool forward. Doing so will damage the instrument. Locate and press the evacuate button on the front of the mass spectrometer. The lights on the interface will turn red to indicate that the interlock is evacuating. Once the green light turns on, indicating it is safe to open, you may now proceed. First, to change lever positions, unscrew the arm and move down. Then, re-tighten. The lever is now able to be lifted upwards, freeing the path for the source installation tool. When you lift the lever, you will notice the green light for ready to open is no longer on. 
This lever must remain completely up while you're inserting the tool. Otherwise, obstructing the path of the source installation tool may damage the interlock mechanism. Since the source cartridge is now attached to the source installation tool, the indicating screw for the channel guide is in the unlocked position or left channel. Insert the source installation tool and turn clockwise to seat and release the CI source cartridge. Then pull back on the installation tool, but do not remove. You may now lower the lever, closing the interlock door, and unscrew the lever arm. The evacuate light is now green again. Remove the source installation tool by turning counterclockwise. Replace the manifold cap by inserting and turning clockwise until the cap clicks. Return the lever arm to the upright position and secure. The reagent gas line needs to be plumbed into the instrument if it hasn't been already. The port for the reagent gas is clearly labeled. The instrument software is now ready to be configured for CI operation. Thank you for watching this video. You should now be able to remove the EI source cartridge, change the source configuration from EI to CI operation, and reinstall the CI source cartridge.